All right, guys, so it's Ricky Repairs back it again. Today we have a 2009 Ford Expedition 4x4. All right, what we need to do is replace the rotors and the brake pads. All right, it's going to get started. We're going to do the back ones first. All right, so I will include both videos, the front ones and the back rear ones. All right, it's going to loosen the lug nuts. All right, so the size for that one is a 21. All right, before you put the floor jack, go ahead and loosen it first. I'm just gonna remove those first. All right, so once we remove the wheel, I'm just gonna lift the floor jack and use the floor jack and the jack stand. After that, I'm just gonna remove the caliper. Just right here. There's a little cover right here. You have to remove that. Same thing with the bottom one. This one right here, just pull that out. All right, so there's these two little plastic right here covered. In order to remove the caliper, this one right here, and the top one right here. All right, let's go ahead and remove those two. All right, for those two, you'll need a Torx. It's a Torx T45. All right, let's go ahead and remove those two. All right, so for that one, I'll be using a small extension just so that will damage this brake line right here. All right, let's go ahead and move that one. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and get the top one. This one right here. After that, you'll see the bolt right there. Same thing with the bottom one, right there. That one right there. All right, let's go ahead and push it outwards. Just come right off. Just like that. Same thing with the bot top one. After that, Come right off just like that all right so if you're replacing the uh, rotors you'll have to remove the bracket for the caliper which is these two bolts right here this one right here and this one right here after that your caliper should be free all right, so the size for those, those two, it's a size 18 millimeter. All right, so you will have to remove that. After that, you'll be able to remove that bracket and then your rotor should be free. But for this car, which is replacing the brake pads. So let's go ahead and clean the bracket. So yeah, before you loosen this too, Make sure you use a good leverage, a breaker bar, in order to loosen those two. And also spray some WD-40 on it or freeze off. Hopefully that loosens it a little bit, lubricates it. All right, it's going to get, start cleaning this cow bracket. I'm just going to remove the brake pads. After that, let's go ahead and push back the caliper back in. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bleeder right here. Let's go ahead and remove that little cover. After that, let's go ahead and loosen this. Use a wrench. Or ratchet is a size 10 millimeter. Just gonna break that loose. That 
Just grab a hose. That bleeder right there. All right, after that, I'm just gonna press this. I'm just gonna press this. After that, I'm just going to tighten it. I'm right, just going to remove our compress tool. After that, I'm just going to pull this old brake pad out. So now you want to clean all that dust out of the way. So go ahead and clean this. After you clean it, go ahead and spray it. All right, just gonna pull out the guides for the caliper. Just push it in, it should come right off. Just gonna grease this part right here. Just gonna pull them out. Doesn't matter you mix them, they're the same size. As you can see, all right, just gonna clean them down and grease that part right there. All right, after that, let's go and put it back on. All right, so let's go and put back the new brake pads. So on the new ones, make sure you you don't mix it. Because on one bag, little plastic bag, this came together. The ones that go right here on the outside. The one that hook onto the piston is this one. It has this little hook. As you can see, the one that goes out, it doesn't. And also this one has this a bit longer. Let me show you real quick. So yeah, just don't mix them. As you can see, the hook right there. A bit longer all right so yeah just don't mix them because in the plastic when it came on the box these two came together the one that goes out here outer right here and this came together the one that goes on holds on to the piston right there all right it's going to reinstall this all right so the small one Longer hook right here goes out here. Make sure it goes all the way down, just like that. Let's go ahead and put the one that was the piston. So yeah, the only difference is this one and the little ears on it right here. I'm right, just gonna put this one back on. This one first. All right, so there you have it. Next thing you want to do is reinstall it. So this hook right here, let's go. This one has to go inside here. This one has to be out. Right, let's go. So 
So there you have it, just like that. Right there. Same thing with the bottom ones. Right there and right there. Top ones. Right there, right there. So that, let's go ahead and line this. Little guides right here. All right, let's go ahead and line that. There you have it. All right, just get a little tug with the ratchet. Do that should be good. All right, so there you have it. Same thing with the top one. All right, so there you have it. New brake pads and rotors all right let's go ahead and put this little cover back on same with the bottom one this one right here and your bleeder brake bleeder right there whoops yeah, just gonna put it back on. So that's how you install the rotors and the brake pads. So it should be the same for 2007 up to 2017. Ford Expedition and Link Navigator. All right, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Now catch you in the next one.